I do carry a set list because I am just really oh thank you. Yeah, I have two, but okay. that'll be great. I forget the words to my own songs. I forget the names of my songs. I forget a lot of things. So I put all my songs down there and go, and what was that song I was going to do? Oh, yeah. And so that just, um, but anyways, you don't care. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> you know my tricks. Well, this is a very fun evening. Thank you for inviting me to this, Stephen. And um, I've been on a, I've been on a, um, a break from singing and performing for, it's not an official break because no one really knows except my friends. And I haven't been booking any shows really. But then all of a sudden people were calling me and like, I played a show last month just with someone who said, yeah, they didn't want to do the show by themselves, hey, can you come? I'm like, ah, whatever, okay. And then this one came up, I'm like, well, I can't pass it up, so. Um, but I really, when I laid down my guitar to have my break, I laid my guitar down. Like, I <laughs> did not pick it up or sing anything. I was trying to enjoy other people's music and go and hear them. And um, I've been writing music for only about four years now. Um, well, music that counts, like before that. And I'm not that young, <laughs> let me tell you. If you think you can't start a career in music, although a career is, might be a strong word for what I do, but um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not young. So anyways, uh, so about four years ago, and I've been um, on my own all those four years, and I am raising, raising two boys, so I have to work <laughs> to supply. The kids are like, how come you can't come to this or that? I'm like, would you like food on the table? I have to go to work. So um, I work, and I've been doing about 50 shows a year up until this point, and I just, you know, I was like, I need some time to write and to just take some time to, you know, whatever. Whatever people do when they, I've been painting <laughs> my house or my little apartment. I live at 300 square feet. I don't really need to tell you this all now because I've got like an hour, but blah, blah. Anyway, so my friend says, you know what? It's so much better if you just shut up. You're like, okay. So, so I will. I'll just sing something right now. And then, okay, I'm going to sing this one. I have to tell you this. I wrote this song in a little... <laughs> I wrote this song in a little place, my first little place I owned by myself after I split with my husband, split up, and I got married very young and lived at home until I got married and had never lived on my own or really, I'd never, I'd never registered for car insurance, I'd never done anything, honest to God, can you believe that in this day and age that a woman such as myself, and I'm quite independent and fiercely so, and yet I let someone just do everything, I'm like, whatever, you know, go ahead, and then when everything fell apart, I'm like, oh my God, how do you get insurance for your car? And so, anyways, I lived in this three-bedroom townhouse in a small town, 350 bucks a month, it had a basement, it had a washer and dryer, and so I had no furniture because I had nothing. And so I sat in this living room overlooking the neighbors' homes through the sheer curtains that were left there from the people before, <laughs> sitting on the floor, and then I wrote this song. I have 
to your final lullaby. Happy people.